Good evening everyone and welcome to the History Department. This PowerPoint is designed just to give you a taste of some of the subjects and topics but also the skills that we aim to develop with students who are with us from Year 7 and hopefully all the way up to Year 13. In the History Department we make sure from Year 7 all the way up to Year 13 we allow students to experience a range of different countries, histories, cultures, but also investigate different races and religions. We want students to be able to analyse the past, but also see how the past influences today. Understanding British values and where we've come from is an equally important part and the fact that we have spent time with our primary schools to understand the skills and core knowledge that students arrive with us in year seven. We want to build on that knowledge and not ignore it. So it's the very best start for our students in September of year seven. In year seven, we study a wide range of topics throughout the year. We approach this in a chronological way. We start with William I and look at the things like the Bayeux Tapestry, but also the Battle of Hastings. We then move on to look at key individuals in our history, from King John, King Richard, but also key turning points, such as the very popular Black Death. We also take a real interest in some of the more controversial characters in history, such as we do an investigation on Robin Hood, but also local history, such as our very own witches in Gillsborough. In year eight, we build on the skills developed in year seven. We start with the Victorian period with a real focus on what would have been like for a child to live in this period and experience the dreaded workhouse. We then move on to some of the more controversial elements like the British Empire and of course slavery. After this, we then move on to the world stage where we look at two key world wars of the 20th century. We look at what it was like, what caused them, but also the social aspects at home, such as women's suffrage. In World War II, we will cover the Holocaust, but also the key battlegrounds. At GCSE and A-level, we find that history is extremely popular. We study both depth units looking at specific events of the 20th century and the causes of World War II, but also we cover breadth units with the very different medicine through time and a focus on Elizabeth I, what she did as ruler and her impact on society. At Gillsborough History Department, we try our very best to make every lesson have a range of different activities or skills to be developed. For example, we will do analysis of different kings and queens, thinking about what made them good or poor leaders. We look at turning points, such as Pearl Harbor or the Black Death. We also have a keen interest in local history, as it's important to know what has happened around our very area. One example more recently was to look at the home front in Northamptonshire and Gillsborough and the surrounding villages. That isn't to say we do enjoy some more of the competitive elements where we have the uh, very popular Who Wants to Be a Historian, which we can play at any year group. We also have our emoji revision game, which some of our older students get extremely competitive with. Outside of the classroom, we try our very best to give our students a taste of history around them. For example, places that we've been, such as the Globe Theatre, where we wanted students to see the best reconstruction of what an Elizabethan theatre would have been like in the atmosphere there. We've also taken students to the Imperial Maritime Museum to look at Spanish Armada primary evidence and to think about how Elizabeth managed to defeat this mighty force. We've also been extremely lucky to have a real RAF veteran from the local area 
come in and talk to our students on numerous occasions about his experience during World War II. Thank you very much and I look forward to seeing you all very soon.